hey look, it's the new VW Golf and it's so very different from the last one. I mean, it's got um, n n new lights and uh, a new instrument cluster and look, it's new, okay? This isn't any new Golf though, this is the GTI Performance, the GTI with a little extra fizz up its bum. The car for people who think good enough isn't good enough is back. This is the Golf GTI Performance and it comes with 245 horsepower. Now that's, well, it's not a small stable, is it? In fact, that's Ford Focus ST troubling power. You know what? The Golf GTI has come a long way from its comparatively humble beginnings. Ah, the Golf GTI, widely regarded as the genesis of the hot hatch. It wasn't the first, but it was the best, so it got the title. It was the car that everyone knew and loved, but it came with more power and a sporty glint in its eye. What the GTI meant was that if you found yourself needing a practical car, you didn't need to drop the idea of having a sports car. Since the Mark I, the Golf GTI has been on the want list of many, many people. And not without reason. You see, the VW Golf is one of those few cars that can be, well, called truly classless. It doesn't look out of place anywhere. The dodgy bit of town looks fine. What about outside the Albert Hall? Again, absolutely fine. And people love them for that because it fits in anywhere. How cool is that? And now the GTI has got more performance than it's ever had. This bad boy's 2-litre turbo 4 is kicking out 245 horses and 273 pound foot. 0 to 62 takes 6.2 seconds and it'll top out at 155 miles an hour, so it's um not slow at all. The performance gets a few things that the vanilla GTI doesn't. Things like bigger brakes, red brake calipers, a different diff and 15 more horses. Now I've driven plenty of Golf GTIs in anger, so is this 7.5 Golf GTI any good or is it just a bit of a badge job? Well, I'm going to start by driving through a tunnel in a low gear. <laughs> I really like that noise. I mean, yeah, it's not a lovely naturally aspirated engine or anything like that, but it sounds farty and loud and exciting and that from a hot hatch is exactly what you want. Isn't it? Yes, it is what you want. Well, it's what I want. I want my hot hatch to sound awesome because most of the time you're going to be, well, bimbling around town, making noise where you can, trying to enjoy yourself, trying to make the best of things because really this is a car that you just do everything with and you get your kicks as and when you can, even though it's capable of far, far more. So a little bit of noise just for you, I'll take that because it is just for you. I'm in sport mode. I would only ever drive this in sport mode. The other driving modes make it feel like a completely different car, but if you're gonna have a GTI, just leave it in sport and go and play because man, it feels wicked. It just sets the car up and it feels not too raucous, not too day to day. It feels like a little sports car. And that's what it's supposed to do. Yeah, the front wheels are driven and no, it's not quite as quick as some people would like, but it feels good. It feels really good. And there's no shame in that. Now we've been driving on nice smooth bits of road, but I found earlier a quite gnarly, aggressive, bouncy bit of country back road. And as the light is fading, I think it's worth giving it a little tickle, don't you? just out the corner, traction control starts to play with you a little bit, but oh, it feels so good. And the steering working with the gearbox, which is playing a delightful ball this evening, and then the power delivery of the motor. If you keep it on song, there's constant boost, and then brake, down the gear, off we go, power on. <laughs> Traction control's going nuts because remember there's 245 horsepower only going through the front wheels. And yeah, diffs are clever and what have you and engineering happens, but still it's not gonna be <laughs> enough to stop physics. So the question here is, why should you go for the performance over say the regular GTI? Well, you gotta really want it, haven't you? And you know what? You get extra power, you get a different diff, you get those bigger brakes and they are so good. 
Do you know what? If you want it, why not? It's a bit more go in a friendly, good to drive, really good to drive package. If it were me, I'd have the Golf R, but um, I'm a child. Still, Golf GTI performance, it is good.